This is absolutely insane. Today we're going to be reacting to John J. James and he has taken steroids with doing no gym whatsoever and he's claiming that it's an experiment. So let's get into it. Steroids after four months has done this to my back and I gotta say it's worth it. After doing a bit of research I found out that steroids actually give you back acne and it's not great. My back is completely covered in scars and it feels pretty terrible all the time but I do like being able to go to the gym more. I finally hit 180 pounds so I'm gonna keep doing it. Immediately right off the bat, he seems like a really interesting bloke, but there are some flaring issues I can see with this and I think other people have seen this video. The biggest comment people have is, he seems to be doing this out of curiosity, which I do not think is a good enough reason to just take steroids. If you are not training in the gym and to see what your body can get to naturally, you're missing out on a lot of, of the kind of the gym experience that is really necessary for building your discipline and consistency in the first place. So if you go right out of the bat day one taking steroids in the gym, you don't know first what your body is initially capable of. Secondly, you're never going to be able to claim natural ever again. And also, never mind the fact that you're just putting yourself um, at risk of all these side effects. His severe acne is clearly one of them, and we don't know what else could happen down the track. Yeah, and he claims to be taking steroids as an experiment and to be doing it just to just, just show others what it does to begin against. And then he makes the, the point that it's just for him and it's an experiment and that you shouldn't do it. But that's a, a completely dumb point because it's like saying, yeah, I'm taking cocaine. Here, mm -hmm. don't take cocaine because I'm doing an experiment. You, you shouldn't be taking those drugs, right? You shouldn't be putting yourself in that position in life because he says he's happy about it. He says he's enjoying the gym more than ever, but it's not just about the short term. It's about all the effects. You can see he's got back knee on his back. Obviously later in life, he might run into issues from these steroids. He might run into heart issues, you know, from whatever steroids he's taking. I don't know what the specifics behind what he's taking, but steroids do cause problems later in life. And it's not a good influence on me. You know, he even though he's influencing people not to take it, just by the fact of him taking it and saying he's enjoying it, putting it in a positive light without mentioning some of the terrible things that steroids do, is making it a bad influence. Because people are gonna see it and be like, oh, if he takes steroids and he's getting clout, he's getting lots of people watching it, maybe I should take steroids. And that's that's not really good because he's only been going for four months or whatever. And now he's reporting it to the world and saying, I'm doing it as an experiment. Let's have a look at some of his more recent shorts. Why I took steroids my first day in the gym curiosity. I wanted to know what would happen if you combined beginner gains with steroids. No one's ever done it before and I see why. My back is ruined and my shoulders and lats are growing faster than everything else. But it's also kind of fun so I'm going to keep doing them. This guy made a video about me saying it's a bad idea but interesting to see what happens and I couldn't agree more. He's very much just doing it out of curiosity. He doesn't have an end goal. He said I'll, I may as well keep doing it for a few months as I'm getting the attention. So he's using that attention to justify his behavior and that's I think one of the dangers of social media nowadays is you can have anyone doing something extreme and it will get views and people can be fooled into the mindset that just because now I'm getting a lot of attention doesn't mean it's right or doesn't mean that it's the moral thing to do and this is where I feel people can get become really misconstrued with their actions and not also understand the negative repercussions of their actions because of this wide influence they're having they need to go about it objectively because when you take that objective out it's really spreading the message of just doing something for the sake of it and in this instance it has a lot of negative repercussions uh, he's really not taking Taking it seriously. I think that's one of the things that I find the most problematic with these videos. A lot of people who do take steroids, I mean, that bodybuilders, at least they're taking them, as you said, they're taking them for a specific purpose. They're taking it for their career. It doesn't mean it's necessarily the right or the healthiest thing to do, but that also means they have doctors watching them and therefore they have the right dose for their set goals and they're only going to be on it for a certain amount of time. It doesn't look like this guy, uh, JJ John James, is using these steroids with any proper doctor's revision. At least he hasn't mentioned it so far. And I think that's problematic as well because again it shows that he isn't doing it with seriousness he hasn't thought through his actions fully he's just going for it for the sake of it I want to quickly comment on his mindset because he says mm -hmm. he's doing it because it's just an experiment and he wants to see how it goes that shows in his attitude that he's got a lack of values as a man and I think as a man you need to have values you need to say no this is not what I should do which is why I think it's sort of a bad role model because he's doing it he's sort of had a laid-back attitude you know I'm doing it just for the sake of it and that's showing a lack of values in his personality as a man you should be reporting values of discipline you should be reporting values of stoicism you should be putting things that are propelling people forward, doing things that are going to help people. There's a reason why people usually don't follow influencers that do things they don't agree with because it, they're doing something that they objectively is bad for them, right? Unless it's like taking the mickey out of it. So I think the mindset he has is not a good mindset that should be displayed. And I think that the fact that he's just taking for the fun of it just for the curiosity is not a good sort of worldview. You should you should have values, there's things you should have an opinion on stuff and you should they should be able to draw the line in the sand saying, I am not going to do this, this is too far, this is going over the line and I'm not going to take steroids because what's the point? Values are quite important and to adopt 
the right values is a step of maturity that I think uh, this guy needs to uh, adopt. If you like this video, please subscribe for more as it helps us a lot, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't jump on steroids, kids. <laughs>